Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Here we are, Dale. This must be Mary Colton's office. Yep. <laughs> you better have Roy check that knot, Pat. It'd be a shame to have Nellie Bell get away. Well, it ain't the running off that bothers me, Dale. It's the way she's always rearing up and bucking. Well, I'm always afraid she's going to topple over backwards and break her back. <laughs> well, it looks like we're traveling with a couple of locos. I don't know whether I ought to take them in to see Mary Colton or not. Personally, I wish we didn't have to go in. I don't like pretending to be something I'm not, Roy. You'll be all right, Dale. Just do as we've planned, and I'll back you up. Come on, Pat. Hello. Howdy, folks. Hi. Mayor Colton? Yes? I'm Dale Evans from Mineral City, and this is Roy Rogers. How are you? Well, I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time, Rogers. And this is Pat Brady. Well, I'm happy to meet you, too, Pat. Oh, I'm just happy to make folks happy. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to this, too, Sheriff. Or I should say Mayor. Well, Roy, I'm afraid my days as a fighting sheriff are over. And to be truthful, I'll be very happy if I can get rid of this other title. Now, what can I do for you folks? Well, Mayor Colton, I have a little money that I'd like to invest in some land around here, and Roy thought you might be the best person to come to for advice. Well, I'll certainly be glad to give you whatever help I can. Perhaps my hey, opinion... Hey, Mayor! Is... Look what the bus brought in, along with that payroll shipment. Ma, what are you doing here? Surprised you, didn't I? Why didn't you let me know you were coming? If I had let you know, you would have written me to stay home where I belong, like you always do. <laughs> well, I want you to meet Dale Evans, Roy Rogers, and Pat Brady. They're visiting Pine Hill for a few days. It's a pleasure to know you, Mrs. Colton. Sure is. Glad to know you, Mrs. Colton. Well, land of me. Imagine meeting you folks. Well, I am just so anxious to hear you and Ralph compare notes about how you hunted outlaws. <laughs> we'll just let the dishes go tonight, Dale, after supper, and listen to them talk. Oh, Mrs. Colton, we didn't come here to visit your son. We came on business. We've taken rooms at the hotel. Well, that ain't saying I don't like home cooking. Pat, now you're not taking rooms at any hotel. You're coming right straight out to the ranch with us, aren't they, Ralph? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid so. You know, when Ma makes up her mind, there's no use arguing with her. We're glad to have you folks. Come on in. Thank you. Oh, Ralph, he's at Manifest to come with a payroll shipment. You see, Ma, them business folks is sending through money and care of Ralph just like when he was sheriff. Pat, you, uh, you haven't met Dale Evans and Roy Rogers, and this is Pat. All right, everyone, up with your hands. Get back against those bars. Get their guns. I don't believe you boys know who you're dealing with. This is my son, fighting Sheriff Colton, and that is Roy Rogers. Oh, we're just scared plumb to death, lady. Now get back against those bars. Get that strong box, Red. If you want your son and Rogers to live, lady, don't let them follow me. That was bad boy Wiley. Roy, we better take it easy. He's a pretty tough customer. Maybe he won't be so tough on equal terms. Pat, you stay with Mom Dale. Come on.
like we lost them, Trigger. If there's initials in this hat, maybe that'll help. R.M. Well, I managed to knock this hat off of one of them. There's no call for worry, Roy. Ralph will bring them in. There never was a lawman as good as Ralph when he was sheriff. Except his pa, of course. We know, Miss Colton. Well, well, we were looking for you to bring in some prisoners, Ralph. Well, Ma, I'm afraid there aren't any prisoners. They must have been remarkable riders to get away from you and Roy. Well, don't you care. Everybody fails once in a while. They'll get them before they're through, Mrs. Colton. Of course they will. Come on now, let's get off the ranch. I've got to cook supper. Oh, but we don't want to impose. It's all settled. Pat and I made the plans while you were away. Didn't we, Pat? Oh, we sure did. I told Ma I was very fond of eating biscuits, and she told me she was very fond of cooking biscuits, so we come to an agreement. <laughs> well, come on, let's go get the biscuits started. Okay. Come on, honey. Roy, I'm sorry about that. Ralph, do the initials in this hat mean anything to you? R.M. No, I don't recall of anyone having initials R.M. Oh, sure you do, Ralph. Them initials just familiar to you as your own. It stands for Rod Morgan. Uh, that bad boy's henchman. Oh, uh, yes, I had forgotten about Rod Morgan. Well, uh, we better get back to the ranch. Well, you folks go ahead. I'll wire the authorities to be on the lookout for Wiley's gang. And I'll tell you that the whole town lined the streets and cheered when the news came that Ralph had captured Killer Payne. Now that's about enough, Ma. Keep up that kind of talk and you'll spoil a folks' dinner. Oh, it sucks, no. Boy, your mother's biscuits are just like, well, just like the biscuits Mother used to make. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame her for being proud of a son that's done so much. Excuse me, folks. I'll see who that is. Here, Roy. Help yourself to the biscuits. Don't take too many. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Wiley, what are you doing here? I came for the hat. Well, I haven't got it here. Where is it? Wiley, our agreement didn't include... Colton, I want that hat. It's evidence. And if Morgan is convicted once more, this time he'll go up for life. Look, I only promised to help you when... Your mother's in there, isn't she? She thinks a lot of you. You, uh... Wouldn't want her to find out, would you? No. Where is she? In the sheriff's office. Here's the key. That's better. I'll give this back to you Monday. Pat, how many biscuits can you eat anyway? <laughs> well, how many more you got? Well, there's about a dozen there. Maybe... Who was at the door, Ralph? Just one of the neighbors. It was nothing important. If you folks will excuse me, I'll go out and see that Trigger and Buttermilk are bedded down. Mm -hmm. I better go see that Nellie Bell's bedded down, too. Ma, you and I better tend to these dishes. Oh, they can wait. You go attend to your horse. Roy and Pat will do it for me. Roy and Pat, nothing. You can't handle men by letting them know you have to depend on them. They'll get the upper hand if you do. You may have a point. I wish Sheriff Burris had asked someone else to come over here and investigate the breakdown of law in Pine Hill. Yeah, me too. I was sitting there eating the old lady's biscuits and all the time thinking her son's up to something. It's tough to have to accept the hospitality of the man you're investigating. Well, Ma was so insistent that we come over here. What could we do? There's no way to get out of it. Listen, Roy, Colton recognized those initials in Morgan's hat. I know he did. I can't figure it out. Colton was the best law officer in the West up until just before his term expired. Then he seemed to quit cold, and the outlaws took over. When the people elected him mayor, things got worse. What's the answer, Roy? Maybe if we find Wiley, we'll know. Pat, tomorrow morning we'll take bullet and see what we can find out. Roy, Mayor Colton. What's the matter, Ed? Oh, Ralph, that, that hat of Rod Morgan's was stolen out of the office last night. Stolen? Well, wasn't there when I opened up this morning. I put it on top of the safe, you remember. Well, I never. Leaving important evidence lying around like that, just anywhere. Somebody broke in, huh? Well, that's the funny part about it. Near as I can figure out, that thief just unlocked the door and walked right in. Who has keys to your office? 
just to marry me, nobody else. Well, certainly neither of you took the hat. But I still can't excuse such carelessness. Oh, don't worry about it, Ma. Roy and I are starting out right now to catch the feller that owns a hat. You're doing what? Yeah, we're taking bullet with us, too. We're going to start at the spot where Roy lost the trail yesterday. Well, that's a good idea. I'd like to go along with you, but I have to help a rancher out with a tax problem. Dad, you better go back in the office. All right. I'll see you folks at supper time. Pat, see if you can borrow the sheriff's horse. It might be pretty tough trailing Wally in a jeep. And Rogers doesn't miss many times. Well, here comes his honor. Wally, you better clear out of here. Rogers is trailing with that dog of his. You better head for the border. He wouldn't dare follow you across. That's right. Let's go. Okay, but you better ride along with us, Your Honor. Why? What for? You've been a little bit on edge of late. You might be leading us into an ambush. Stop talking like a fool. I'm not talking like a fool. I'm talking like a man with sense. Now, you're riding as far as the border. Then if we get caught in a spray of bullets, you'll get your share. All right, all right. Let's get started. There's no telling how close Rogers is. place where they hold up. According to Bullets, they've moved on. Well, Bullets got a nose that knows. I mean, his nose knows that he knows that he... he who knows? <laughs> Come on. Colton, you can turn back. Sorry I doubted you. Yeah, I'll be lucky if I don't run into Rogers on the way. You do? Spin him a tall tale. We'll be around Monday in time for the sawmill payroll. and then I came out here, I thought I might pick up Wiley's trail. Did you have any luck? No, they, they crossed the border. Probably found out somebody was trailing them. I wonder if they found out a dog was trailed. I don't know how they could find that out. Well, I guess we better go, huh? I think we better. Come on, Bullet. Come on, boy. More than one citizen of Pine Hill has wished for a return of the day when our country had fighting Ralph Colton as its sheriff. It is unfortunate that Colton retired from the job. It is more unfortunate that as mayor, Ralph Colton seems to lack the spirit that made his name a thing of dread to the outlaws. Where is that spirit? Ralph, I want to know something. Why did you refuse to run for sheriff again? Well, I've got my own life to think of. Besides, I believe I've done my share for Pine Hill. Oh, you think you've done your share. Well, let me tell you something, son. Ma, listen, I don't... Now, you listen to me. I've seen your father so discouraged and beaten that it seemed he couldn't go on. But he wasn't a coward. He wasn't a quitter. 
He knew that people needed him and were depending upon him. So he pulled himself together and fought. I thought you were like him. I guess I've been wrong. find a piece of property she likes? Not yet. You've been reading the paper. Yeah. Anything I can do? The reason I ask is I know it can't be pleasant for a man to read he's lost his spirit. Did you get together with Moir on this? No, I haven't even seen your mother since early this morning. What are you doing here? I came to ask you a question. Whose key was used the night Morgan's hat was stolen out of this office? Mine. You know, Ralph, sometimes it does a man good to get things off his chest. Roy, when I was sheriff, I picked up a young fella whose mother had just died. I practically raised him. It was almost like, almost like a son to me. When he got older, I made him my deputy. Then he made a misstep, a very bad one. So I covered for him by laying his crime at the door of an outlaw who had done a lot of other things. Later on, this outlaw was killed. Jimmy was never suspected. Not by anyone. Not by anyone except bad boy Wiley. So that's it. Exactly. So now I have to turn my head the other way when Wiley and his gang are operating around here in order to protect Jimmy. You see, Jimmy now has a very wonderful family and a fine ranch in Cedar Valley. That's why you never run for sheriff again, huh? Well, I thought if I was mayor that they could... Well, what difference does it make what I think? Where can I find Wiley now? I don't know. No, I... Yes, I do know something. They're planning to take the sawmill payroll this afternoon. Wiley and his gang are going to jump Ad March and the bank messenger at High Point Ridge. Well, I'm going to see that they don't. And Roy, regardless of the consequences, I'm with you. Moore was right. Where does the messenger pick up the money? Well, they plan to deliver it here in a couple hours. Well, as I see it, then, you and Roy are going to sort of be chaperones to this fake money, but Wiley and his gang don't know it's fake. But uh, what's going to happen to that real stuff? That's where you come in. You're going to guard it. People are always letting me guard money. Nobody ever gives me any. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of, Pat. Besides, I've asked Len Connor to stand guard with you. He's outside talking to the messenger. Now, who said anything about being afraid? If bad boy Wiley was to walk in here this minute, why, I'd... Do... Pinch his head off. <laughs> okay, head pincher. Take this out to the wagon and let on like it's full of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Len, there it is. Put it in the safe and take real good care of it until we get back. Come on, Roy. Don't worry about it, Mayor. We'll take care of it. That's High Point Ridge ahead. They'll hit us when we hit the peak. We'll be ready for them. Oh, don't mind us. We just want to look in the desk for a picture of Ralph. Well, just so you don't look in the safe for it. <laughs> Here's the gun belt that Ralph wore when he was sheriff. I wish I could get him to carry these again. Maybe this will help him get his courage back, Ma. All right, everyone, reach. I wouldn't try that, lady. I'm going to call a chair. All right, let's get to work on this safe. nothing but a fresh kid. And if I had a barrel stave, I'd paddle you till you couldn't sit down. Why, you old... Please, Ma. Hurry up and get that thing open.
Ralph, I hope you weren't fooling when you told me about the outlaw's plan. Roy, believe me, I never told a straighter story in my life. They were supposed to head us back at the ridge. Well, they didn't. And the way I figure, there's no use going any farther. I'm going back to town. That's it. We've got it all. Get them outside. I gotta leave a message for a yellow back rattler. This way. Just in case, please. Roy, you're too late. Everything's gone. The deputy's gone. The money's gone. Ma and Dale, they're both gone. Bad boy Wiley took everything. Well, you double cut up. Oh, Roy, there's a note left for him. Colton, you double crosser, you tried to save 10 grand. It'll cost you 25 grand more to get your mother and the girl back. I'll contact you later, Wiley. I'm sorry, Ralph. That's all right, Roy. Forget it. Let's take Bullet. We'll go get him. All right. Come on, Bullet. might need it. I think Colton will pay off rather than risk the old lady's neck, but we can't be sure. Besides, Rogers has got that dog. He might use it to trail it. We'll take care of him if he comes. It'll take better men than you've got to stand up against Roy Rogers and my son. Your son? <laughs> He's nothing but a cheap crook. What is it? Why, you buddy. Come here. Get away from this door. fighting by your boy's side. That goes for me too, Ma. If you need us for anything, you know how to get in touch with us. Come on, Pat. Bye, Ma. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, Roy. Thanks for the biscuits, Ma. Trail to you, keep smiling.
happy train.